next year as we'll look at the f- uh, the future board. And also, the win totals are, are out already. Now, I'm not going to get involved with the win total this early, but the Chiefs are 10.5 over minus 130, what we're seeing this morning. Yeah, and the Niners are 11.5. That's too high. Niners going to go 12-5? and five? It's a big number. Yeah. Niners under, Chiefs over. That's what I say. At 10.5, I think that's... Now, good point, but a lot of people have been sending stuff in about a lot of these guys are going to get paid for Kansas City's defense. It's inevitable. Sooner rather than later. But that's – and sometimes when people get a couple of rings, it's like, okay, I got paid now – excuse me, I got my ring, now I'm going to get paid. Yeah. But that's – well, uh, Arizona – what are the Arizona Rams? will be better. Ram, Rams were a playoff team. Sure. Seattle will be better. Rams, by the way, had a lot of uh, young players this year. Who now, how shined. about this? How about what happened in Seattle with the Ryan Grubb? Oh, I know. What's going on in Alabama, Luke? You lose your offensive coordinator already. Yeah. He's going to be the OC with Seattle. Everyone's connecting the dots. They're going to draft Penix now. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have a problem with it. But that's the, so Seattle could be improved. But still, it's, that's between their injuries and that's a, that's hard to win twelve games. It is. The Chiefs would have to win eleven. Obviously, under this scenario, it's minus 130. We'll see how the schedule plays out a little bit later on in May. But here's your look at Super Bowl odds for next year. The Niners yep. are the shortest shot at plus 550. Chiefs are plus 650. Would you have any desire or recommendation here for the Chiefs to win the AFC? Not necessarily this early in the season, but as we get closer, if like 3-1 to one or plus 350 is going to be around on that Possible yeah. bet. Yeah. Because if they figure to win the division again, they win it every damn year. Right. Now that's How do you rank the biggest contenders in the AFC? Oh, boy. Do we automatically put the Ravens as um, yeah. public enemy number one for KC? Yeah. And then what? Do you want to do Bills? No. No way. I, I think I'd probably have to go Bengals. Same, bang, I'd go Bengals, too. Right. I think, I think I might go Bengals one. I'm not concerned about Miami. I'm not con- – Buffalo, come on. Buffalo finds a way to lose. I'm intrigued by the Chargers and what Harbaugh can do in year one and Same turn this year. around. Texans, right? Can they do this again? Texans could, are going to be a force. Could they do it? And another one? How about the Browns? Yeah. I don't even see the Browns right now on the uh, first sheet here. I see Jacksonville, though. I don't want 30-1 to 1 on Jacksonville. No, not enough there. Um, you can get a better number on the Browns right now than a team like the Jaguars. Browns would be a little intriguing to me. A good division, I get it, but... Well, you did. You lost your quarterback and you lost your star running back. Sure. And you're going to get this defense figured out. Why that, you were so bad on the road. There they are, 35-1. to 1. That might be the team. I, I might have some interest there. But again, it's super early to get involved with this stuff. Um, but at 35-1, to 1, hell, you know what? To be completely fair, I did bet the Jets last year on January 26th at 45-1. to 1. Mm-hmm. But that was before they got Aaron Rodgers and the thought was they were going to get that guy. So I took a swing. If he doesn't get hurt, I said they're not going to be, you know, we're not, we're not talking about a Jets Super Bowl victory here probably if he doesn't get hurt. But um, so I have tied up money for a year before, and uh, that would be the one team that kind of catches my eye. Buccaneers are 70 to 1. Any consideration there in that division? Or the Falcons maybe at 35 to 1 if they get a quarterback? Yes, Atlanta. Now you see here more stuff, maybe Fields. Because now it's Chicago, it's, all the reports are Chicago is going to want a haul and then some for number one. So it's not going to happen. The bear, the bears are taking Williams. So the word is fields go. And would I would you, like to see him go to Atlanta. Would, would you? I like Atlanta more than Tampa. If that happens, yeah, put it this way. Would you rather have a bet on the Falcons at 35 to one with Justin Fields or with Kirk cousins? Oh, cousins. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Fields still isn't a, a passer. I also think like, where does Russell Wilson end next year? Good, I don't know. Good point. Maybe does Minnesota if Cousins leaves? And who's going to end up in Pittsburgh? Are they going to yeah. run it back with Kenny Pickett? Well, he'll have to compete for the job. I still think that's an under that's... Ra- under the radar spot for Russell Wilson to go to. Okay. If they could make something like that work, I think Wilson to the Steelers would be would be a pretty decent pickup. To the point of where I mean they they won nine games again this year. If the defense could ever stay healthy. Now, he was no great shakes in Denver, but he also wasn't awful this past year. It appears the Vikings are going to 
move on and rebuild. I think so, yep. So what happened? Cousins is number one at that list. Where does he wind up? Yeah, I don't want a piece of the Vikings at 55 to 1. Yeah. Um, what if the Raiders were to get Kirk Cousins? I like it. Be good. I think they're a playoff team. This, you, they're kidding themselves with this O'Connell stuff. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, Come that, on that's not going to happen. Come on, knock it off. No, they have to make an adjustment for sure. You have plenty of weapons. Go get a guy who can, you know, throw it down the field, take shots, right? Yeah. And, I mean, uh, as we're talking this through, Paulie, I mean, like, are we sure the AFC is going to be as good as we thought in previous years? I want to see what what does Denver do? That's another one. Yeah. Could have made the playoffs. What does that look like? What does Harbaugh do with the Chargers? Yeah. AFC North stacked again. Don't don't you call the Chargers a complete wild card? They Green Herbert's going to come yeah. back. They were a playoff team two years ago. Now, what happens with Gardner Minshew? Because you're going to have Richardson back, and he's going to be the starter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, maybe someone take a flyer on him. They, the guy almost made the playoffs. Yeah, I wonder. And what happens to Tannehill? Is he just a career backup now? You're going to be, I assume, going to be a backup? Probably. And he, well, name, name a spot where he could go and become the starting quarterback. I, I just, I don't know if that exists anywhere. And certainly, he's not going to be the starter in Tennessee next year. Art Smith connection, Pittsburgh. Then he had big numbers, uh, good numbers when he was at Tennessee, and oh, I yeah, was he the was, OC. He was good. Okay. He was good. Um, man, but I, I got to see. I got to see the draft free agency. See what. Well, happens. no question. Nothing. Nothing no, jumps out. You're. Not, I, nothing. I would say to your, to your question on uh, Gardner Minshew. I think the Colts are going to have to. I mean, after what happened in his rookie season, the way the Richardson plays. You're gonna to have to pay a backup quarterback enough money. Oh yeah. As an insurance policy. Here. Yeah, you have to. No, no question. Uh, that, yep, that's fair. Whether it's him or somebody else like that would be considered along the same tier as Minshew as a backup quarterback. Now they're gonna to have to pay um if he would go on somewhere they're gonna to have to pay a Tyrod Taylor or a uh, Tyler Huntley or somebody like that to come in to be the backup. And that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. But I don't know Raiders 100 to one. I think they're a playoff team next year if they get the right quarterback. You want yeah. any, you want anything going back to the top of the board? You want anything to mm-hmm. do with the with the Eagles? Now that's interesting. Yeah, twenty to one. Now they got did a good job with the coordinators. An excellent job with the coordinators. Because Sirianni got exposed here late in the season. I and, mean, and they will fix Hurts. Now you got Reddick as Reddick was asked uh, asked for a trade, so they granted that. He can chop himself. That's how I would start the season, though. Too, I would go Ravens at Kansas City Thursday, and I would have Browns. Against the Eagles from Brazil. In Brazil? Friday. That's how I'd start this Here's season. Here's the thing. If we go back to, let's say, pre-Thanksgiving this year, if I told you that you were going to be able to get the Eagles at 20-1 to 1 to win the Super Bowl and a nice number to win the NFC in, like, the next two or three years, I think you kind of would have laughed at me. When they got off to that great start again this year. That's were, not bad. They, Howie Roseman's good. They'll they'll make some changes. They'll oh. fix things. And they should have won the Super Bowl last year. Yeah, they're never content. They'll, yeah. They're they're always super aggressive. Now it's their turn, right? No one repeats in that division, so it'll be their turn now after yeah. the Cowboys win it. And I think yeah, you're actually buying quite low on the Eagles at this point. I really do. You want any part of the Cowboys at the same price? Huh? Mike Zimmer now? Can't do it. No? I can't, I can't get involved yeah, can't with Mike be. McCarthy and yeah. Dak Prescott. Yeah. I just, uh, no thank you. The, the Jets are also 25 to 1. I want no piece it's of It's a that hard either. pass. Oh, no. Yeah. It, big mistake by Woody Johnson to bring Salah back. Enormous mistake considering who was out there. What number would you need on the Bears thinking that they take Caleb Williams and he turns into, like, he's CJ Straw good this year? I want to see who the other pick is. That's a good division. I know you're high on the Packers. Oh, and yeah. Detroit, come on, look at that division. Even if the Vikings rebuild. I want to see if what the Bears do with the other pick as well. If they go Williams and Adunze, I like it. I don't think Adunze like is going to be there. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. No, every mock. It, again, Where's he it's going? Early. Six, five? Oh, they, they got this dude shooting up the charts. Wow. Yeah. But if he's there, if they get Williams and Adunze, I mean, watch out potentially. I agree. I agree. Visit VEASAN.com to get current odds. Listen for free. Find showtimes and download VEASAN's sports betting podcasts.